So hi and welcome back to Next Level Sim Gaming. Now if you're watching this video, you're probably watching because you have one of these. The Pimax Crystal Light. Or you might be thinking of getting one. And I would highly recommend that you do. But if you've got one and tried to play American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 on it, you've probably realised quite quickly that it plays more like a car crash than the amazing experience you thought it would be. So coming up in this video, fear not, I'll be showing you exactly how to get both American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 running better than ever and looking absolutely amazing. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Simhound for supplying the Pimax Crystal Light to me and if you're looking for one from a reputable UK supplier with next day DPD delivery options, there's a link to Simhound in the video description. Let's get to it and show you how it's done. So in this first section of the video we're going to look at the Pimax Crystal Play setup. So first of all you need to download the Pimax Play application. You're probably more than familiar with it if you have a headset already. Check that you've got the current version which you can find in the settings menu. First of all we need to scan through the My Assets and you'll see that American Truck Simulator doesn't exist in here because it's not a native VR game. So we need to point Pimax Play to where the application exists and the shortcut to the application is shown on screen just there. So we're going to be starting the game from within the Pimax application so we can actually bypass Steam itself. Once you have your base station connected you'll see it shows here. Go into device settings. First thing we need to do is go to the device and then we need to point it to where it says brightness. Change this to 92 which I find is a good setting. Then go on to games and we can then select the Amtrucks application that we just enabled in there. Enable program settings and then go down to customize and set the render resolution quality to 1.04. Then go down to this section here in Foveo to render and ensure that the OpenXR quad views and Pimax are enabled. Go to hidden area mask and make sure that is enabled too. And then we are scrolling down and we're just making sure that everything is set as default. Please note that FFR and Smart Smoothing are off. We need to make sure that at this stage that is correct. Once we're happy with that we click on apply to apply those settings and then we need to then go to the next stage which is setting our refresh rate to 120 hertz. Once we've done that the device will disconnect. It will be a short pause, the screen may go on and off. Once it's done this it will then re-establish the connection to the headset and you can see that it says here the Pimax device is connected. Once it has done, check that it's 120 hertz, which you'll see here. Once we're happy with that, we can then move down onto the general section. We need to check in here that the OpenXR and the Pimax OpenXR are both active. The reason for which is, as stated, we are going to be bypassing SteamVR and using OpenXR as the runtime. Once we're happy with everything, make sure it's set at 120 hertz at the bottom, as you can see there. And then we can then move through and just check that the OpenXR and Quad Views is enabled and Pimax setting before we leave this menu. Once we're happy with everything there, we can just then simply return back to the main menu. At this stage we would then scroll down through My Assets and we would then launch the game from here. We will use this from now on to launch the game. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is the configuration file within American Truck Simulator itself. So to do this and to find this we need to go into the Documents folder and we need to go to American Truck Simulator. If we then scroll down you'll see the configuration file and we then need to open that with Notepad. Once we've opened it with Notepad, we need to change a few things in here. First of all, we need to change the manual stereo buff scale to 1.3. We then need to change the buffer page size to 40. We then need to change the grass density and the veg detail both to 3. This is the ultra setting. We then need to disable the manual stereo mirror mode, so this will disable the display on your main monitor. And then we need to select ignore HMD timing, set that to 1, and this will reduce any lag within your headset. 
and make sure you remember to save it before exiting. On to step 3 now, so we're going to download a substitute Steam VR API file. So this substitutes the existing Steam DLL file and uses a reported a jump in FPS from 40 to 90. I've experienced probably in excess of 100 FPS in the game so far using maximum settings so it absolutely does work so it's an essential move. Um, the link to the website is in the video description so you can go there once you are on the website and you've downloaded the relevant file, select the file, copy the file and then you need to then go to this section here. So go to Program Files x86, Steam, and then Steam Apps, Common. You then need to look at the American Truck Simulator game. Go to Bin WinX64, and you can see in here the OpenVR DLL file already exists. You then need to just copy the pasted file into the destination and it will prompt you to overwrite. Once it's in there, that's done. So in this final section, all we need to do in the game itself, which you can do either in the flat environment or within the actual headset environment, is just to adjust the in-game settings. I would recommend using these settings. You'll see under textures it states custom and the reason for that and the other custom settings that pop up as, as a result of the configuration changes we made in the config file just a moment ago. If you set your game to this, going to give you now a couple of examples of exactly how the game works and the game runs and looks absolutely fantastic and believe me the game looks absolutely amazing within the headset itself uh, slightly poorer resolution on the actual screen capture here due to the fact it's representing mirror mode so I had to split the screen to capture the image however thank you Pimax for producing an absolutely fantastic headset this is absolutely amazing I'm absolutely loving American Truck Simulator again. It's a completely different experience. I really hope the guys have helped you and I'll let you enjoy these final clips.
So, thank you once again for watching. And there are some other links here to other videos which I'm sure you will find of help. A huge thank you to all channel supporters and if this video has helped you, it would be massively appreciated if you could leave a like, subscribe and share. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon.